Welcome back, everyone. So we all know that dating can be difficult to begin with, but then you throw in a pandemic into the mix, and boy, it sometimes can just seem impossible. So social situations now, of course, have been extremely limited. Lockdowns make it even harder to get out there and meet different people. But that doesn't mean that all hope is lost. And joining us now with some tips for dating during this pandemic and this uh, challenging time, Dr. Jamie Zuckerman. So good morning, Jamie. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so we're going to start with the obvious question here. Just how much has COVID really impacted dating out there today? Significantly. Uh, it's, it's completely disrupted the flow of how we view dating in general and how we've dated for many years. So as, as we slowly get back to normal, um, you know, what are some of the challenges that people are facing as they re-socialize? So the, the socialization, if you will, now with others is really not the way it was before. I mean, it was so much more casual. Yeah. There were a lot less concerns when you get out there meeting people. It, it's a totally different atmosphere now. Yeah, so I think the biggest thing, like I said, it's disrupted our flow. When people go and start dating again and try to kind of go back to normal, the focus is going to be on remaining safe because of COVID. The focus isn't necessarily going to be on your date or on dating. It's going to be, I need to stay safe because of COVID and also date. Right. So people are fearful of getting sick. Um, you know, it, there's not as many places to go. People can't necessarily eat indoors. So you're on a date in the freezing cold sitting outside. It's very hard to focus on the other person. So there's a lot lot of kind of extraneous variables that played at work there prior to this. You know, it's uh, it sometimes can be already a stressful situation when you're trying to meet new people and date and put yourself out there. And now you're adding some stresses with trying to remain safe while you're doing it. So what, you know, if you are putting yourself back into the mix and back out there, what are some ways to kind of keep yourself safe during during uh, this da this dating atmosphere that we have now? Sure. So obviously, you know, we still want to wear our masks and as much as we possibly can uh, socially distance ourselves. So things like, you know, unfortunately in the cold, but sitting outside, um, going for walks, still, you know, kind of online dating is, is even a bigger thing now so you know people are going on first dates on zoom right. um watching movies together on zoom so things like that, that can can kind of keep you safe and ask questions you want to know is the person you're dating maintaining social distancing when they're not with you are they wearing their mask are they having friends over those are important and necessary questions to ask right and and, and questions that you have a right to ask if you're you know Absolutely. spending some time with that person okay so what tips might you suggest for people uh who are seeking love this valentine's day what you know obviously there are going to be some people that you know are, are perhaps you know being negative about this because they don't want to put themselves out there because it's just the, the challenges are, are too great well in their minds they might they might perceive that you know or spin it that way but what are some things that people can do to kind of maybe have a positive outlook when they approach dating during this time i think the biggest thing is to manage your expectations and to make sure that your expectations are appropriate to this crazy context that we're living in right now um, you know, it, it may take a little bit longer to get to know somebody right now because of the limitations that are up and to remind yourself it's not a reflection on you or your ability to date. It's that, you know, we're kind of in a very difficult time right now. So manage your expectations. You want to remain safe. That's, that's the most important thing. And just take your time with this and remember that every single person involved in this right now is at, on some level anxious and so if you feel anxious going into this keep in mind the other person probably feels equally if not more as anxious and I always tell people when they're dating anxiety oftentimes is misinterpreted a lot of times it's excitement and we misinterpret it as anxiety so going into dating in the pandemic you know a certain level of anxiety is going to be normal and maybe even a little bit more right now because of COVID. Yeah, try to take the pressure off a little bit, maybe, you know, just yes. uh, and those uh, managing the expectations. Great advice there. So yeah. where can people go for more information, you know, when we're dealing with this right now? Mm -hmm. So I post frequently on this on my Instagram page, Dr. Z underscore psychologist, uh, especially with Valentine's Day coming up. I post uh, a lot of tips about sure. dating, how to approach it, uh, and my website, drjamiezuckerman.com. All right, Dr. Zuckerman. Jamie, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. A Thanks, lot of good Pat. information there. And uh, as people kind of try to take the, uh, the edge off on this Valentine's Day, for sure. Yes. Okay. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.
Thank you. Well, coming up, uh, if you're not celebrating Valentine's Day,